So the presentation of today uh, basically wants to continue with the, with the introduction of yesterday on ways to make smart cities smarter. I don't know, I, I see many faces from yesterday, so I'll try not to repeat too much some of the messages. Um, so basically it has three parts. The, the first is just, uh, again, a position on which kind of a smart city at least uh, I'm trying to focus on. It's not the only vision. We will see more visions of smart cities. Uh, what means smart mobility and what's the role of ICT? And then uh, I will present the results of, of the Super Hat uh, project, which is uh, ending this, this year, actually, on delivering. And then the, the last part of the talk is about the use of, of artificial intelligence techniques to enhance the, these kind of systems and bring smart mobility. So, for the first part, um, again, this is from yesterday. This is like a broad definition used by many about what's a smart city. It's uh, the smart management of cities, socioeconomic and environmental capital through the use of uh, ICT. Okay? And then they, people say that this is smart in the sense that they provide ways to enable social, cultural, urban development, improving um, the social and political capacities and or the efficiency of a city, of a urban area, a metropolitan area, or something even bigger. Okay? So enabling, improving are verbs that are typically uh, connected to, to this uh, definition. Um, now, with, you know, with these hot topics, uh, there's always the people that will start abusing on the term, and then you will already find out many, many initiatives that they use smart cities eh, as the selling point, but you don't, when you try to grasp, eh, you know, scratch a little bit, you don't see there really where is their careful analysis on the real impact of those technologies in both the city efficiency or capacity, or actually the user's empowerment. So to me and to some others, this is not really a smart city. This is uh, the technological city or, or some other uh, labels that are for that. But in any case, the most extended view of the smart city is you know, taking the opportunity that we have with all these amazing amount of data that we can obtain from many, many sensors, many, many data sources, including the Internet of Things, although they don't want to be in the picture, I must say, um, taking the advantage that all this is connected through a powerful communication infrastructure and that we have ubiquitous computational power. And when I say ubiquitous, is 